Hello everyone, how do you do? This is Project How to Do, and today I have a video about improvements of my CO2 laser CNC machine. Even rather not about improvements, it's a complete reassembly with an understanding of weakness identified during long-term operation. But if someone has not seen the previous parts, I recommend watch it to understand the story. At the moment the machine has the following parameters. A working area of 800 by 660 mm, a laser with power of 40 watts, rail guides, freon cooling made of a used air conditioner. I have been working on it with some modifications for several years. Mainly I made uh, decorative lamps, you can look at them at the link in the description. And so why do we need to redo something again? The main problem in this machine, in my opinion, was the rigidity of structure. Of course, it's about 3D printed parts. For the initial design, just to play around, or for hobby, this was enough. But when the task is production and accordingly earning money with the equipment, it's starting to be a painful experience. When I try to increase the speed, I realize that the electronic may be able to handle it, but the mechanical parts are definitely not. Maybe mount for mirrors are fine, but strong parts like mounting the frame or axis, it was not very smart move to make it from plastic. It was also stupid to place the laser tube on the wall of the machine, and therefore it was not connected with the frame in any way. Because of this, we get a beam flying away during the deformation of the wooden body. Considering the above, I have done a global work on the errors and there is little left of the old machine. The frame, as last time, is made of structural aluminum profile, 20 by 40 mm. We will need a little more aluminum than before. The CO2 tube is now located on the frame itself. In this regard, we get a monolithic structure that can move around as you want, install it in any housing and we will not lose the rigidity. Important areas where grated straight is needed were replaced with aluminum ones. I made them using a CNC rotor. But the parts are designed in such a way that they can even be made with the hand tools. In fact, there are no tricky fasteners here. Basically, there are just uh, rectangles with uh, holes for fasteners and a uh, couple of corners. At the first I thought to weld them, but I don't have a welding for aluminum and I don't have uh, any friends with it either, so I decided to just heat it up and bend it. It doesn't turn out super nice, but in fact a couple of degree angle won't play a big difference here and everything can be finalized with a file. I want to draw your attention to the outer belt tensioners, made of 5mm stud and soldered nuts. A sheet of aluminum, about a half square meter in size, cost me $10 with a delivery. It will be enough for 2-3 similar machines. Where I could save money, I left 3D printed marts. This is a first mirror mount, the laser tube mount, the belt tensioner and some little things. I replaced the belt from 6mm to 10 After all, they have a decent weight of about a couple meters. I decided that it will be more reliable this way. The shaft for the x-axis is HSS road. The stud will also work, but it bends slightly. The price of HSS road is $10, so I think it's a good deal. The motor on the Y-axis was replaced by NEMA 23. The X-axis left the NEMA 17, but I bought a good Lechine motor instead of no-name Chinese one. Let's go over electronics. The brain of this whole design is a specialized controller, Trosen AWC708S. Now it seems to be no longer available, but its analog AWC7813 will work the same. There is really no special difference here. 
There is no need for much power for this configuration. I don't have a lifting table, one laser, so minimal equipment is needed only to work stably. Whether it's Trosen or Ruida, it doesn't matter. About saving money and made a controller from Arduino and GRPL firmware. I have passed this stage and my opinion is that if you need the machine for work and it will turn on at least a couple times a week for a few hours, you need to buy a special controller. If you still choose Arduino, be ready for lags, reboots in the middle of work, skipping steps and all that, I told you. Drivers for stepper motors, I use DM542. This is overkill for this machine. Supports power up to 50 volts, current up to 4.2 amps, micro stepping up to 128. I also attached a homemade board with relays and optocouplers. The air compressor will turn on from it when the machine starts working, and the cooling when the temperature increases. You can replace it with the relay model like used with Arduino. Then everything as usual. The power supply for controller, 24 volts for motors, 12 volts for air compressor, it can be excluded if you have a AC powered compressor, and a high voltage one for the laser tube. By the way, I haven't changed the CO2 tube either, it still works at 40 watt, no more power required yet. I don't show the circuit because it will be depend on your controller and what additional things you using. But everything should be simple, the documentation should indicate where to connect. A minimum is power wiring, connection of drivers, motors and laser power supply. The cooling is old, made of air conditioner, everything still works fine. There is a separate video about it, the only thing I have slightly modified it. And added a second loop so that liquid inside the tube circulates in the closed loop, without contacting the external environment. The air compressor is for septic tanks, I don't cut plywood often, so it's quite enough. I don't really see the point to show exactly step by step how to assemble it. Firstly, the design is essentially primitive. Secondly, there will be only few people who repeat it exactly. And you can figure out everything just by looking at 3D models. I tried to indicate everything there is to a single bolt. Regarding the 3D models, there are plans for aluminum parts for CNC rotor. All the details are drawn, a files for the Fusion 360 program. There are a link in the description. You can download the models by subscription. It cost 5 US dollars. I decided that if person decided to make a machine for almost a thousand bucks, then he will probably find a few dollars for a 3D models. Let's talk about the money. I made this Google sheet where I tried to write all the parts I used, as well as their cost and links where I pushed it. You can find it in the description and look at it by yourself. As you can see, the total cost of the components came out about $900, while the machine body that can be made from anything is not taken into the sheet. I have MDF walls and a table made of steel pipes. I think it cost me about $50, as well as cooling. In my case, I uh, used air conditioner, $50. The most important thing is that must, my time for development and assembly is not taken into account. If you have all parts on hand, the assembly will take about a day or two. How much does cost the analog of similar CNC machine? Let's see. Since there is no CNC with the exact same working area as mine, I take account the nearest similar, 900 by 600 mm. And so the average cost of such machine is 5000 US dollars. I make a discount on the fact that the laser tube is usually more powerful than I use and the working area is slightly larger, but there is no cooling, 
So if you purchase CW5000 chiller, there is a plus of about 1000. Savings with a self-assembly comes about two, three thousand dollars. Naturally, everyone decides for themselves. You have to keep in mind lots of factors. Time for delivery, the Chinese can mess up something with delivery. You could receive wrong parts, assembly time. If you're not good at electronics, you can get confused. If you break something in the progress, you have to buy new parts. With the pre-assembled CNC from manufacturer, you have a warranty, agreed delivery times, as well as a technical support. If people ask me for advice in this case, I usually ask him for the purpose of having CNC laser. If it's only a hobby and just another interesting tool to improve your workshop, it's okay to try to build it by yourself. But if we're talking about uh, running a business, I would probably recommend to buy a pre-assembled CNC. You will make more money than you save in the time you're waiting for and assembling your own. I originally wanted to add to this video what can be done with such a machine and what is impossible for some examples. But I thought it would be better to leave the purely technical part here. I hope this video helped someone, maybe even motivated. That's it for now. Have a good luck. Bye.